What the? Okay. Hey there, clan, and welcome to my Warriors analysis of the new Dragon Age, the Enemies of Thedas trailer. This trailer came out at Gamescom the, the, literally in the 13th today, and I am going to give my overall analysis of it. Firstly, I'm going to state this right now, there will be no audio in the trailer, and I do highly recommend that you go and watch the trailer. I will leave a link in the description first. You can go check it out first, go watch the trailer first, then come back to the video and watch my analysis of it. I will be pausing, I will be talking over, I will be looking at this trailer as an analysis. Go and watch the trailer first before you watch this, okay? Like it, lump it. Okay, there we go. Now let's dive into this trailer analysis. Now firstly, before I start that, I actually want to comment on the audio itself, since there will be no audio in this trailer analysis. The audio over the video is done by some kind of being known as the Elder One. Uh, my theory is that this is an Elder God. I make reference to this during my trailer analysis. Uh, but I do recommend you make your own theories. Um, just the way the creature talks definitely sounds like it's talking as a god. And it definitely reminds me of a definitely menacing evil force. And I do believe that it is an elder god in my opinion. And it also makes itself, do you, do, where's your maker now? Do you, uh, you will worship your new god. That kind of thing. So definitely enjoyed the audio and I definitely enjoyed the trailer just to clarify that right now. Uh, but let's move on to the analysis and check out the trailer in its full glorious detail. Okay, let's dive into the analysis of the trailer. Now, I'm going to stop and show the and I'm going to pause at a certain thing. Uh, firstly, although I still recommend that if you haven't already, go check out the trailer because I am going to be pausing, moving back, moving forward, the whole shebang. Uh, so, firstly, we'll talk about the first little part. Uh, the intro sequence is kind of jarring. It actually shows off a building for possibly Chantry getting exploded. Move it back a little bit. And we'll get to the uh, good scene here. Um, it does show it exploding. And also it shows off the Templar insignia. Now I'm not 100% certain. But I do believe that this is the um, red Templar insignia. Not the standard Templar insignia. It's a little bit different compared to the other Templar. Uh, being of course being slightly slightly different. Uh, it could just be the standard Templar. But it would make a lot of sense for the red Templar to be somewhere. But that wasn't just a normal explosion. That was a fade explosion. Which means... This could take place to previous or before the events of uh, the uh, start of the game. It's difficult to tell that at the moment, but I'm very seeing advantage of why this place was blown up, and also why was the temple there. So uh, we'll just uh, play the next part. Goes the EA standard stuff. Uh, this part here, of course, I got a comment here. We're unsure right at this moment. In fact, we'll get a closer shot. You actually get closer to this being of light. Um, there, there we go. Uh, we can see here that this that the Inquisitor is going up towards a being of light, a female being of light. You can tell by the body shape that this is a female. Um, now, there's a lot of speculation already of who this possibly is. Um, there is some speculation that it is possibly Andraste. There is some also speculation that it may or may not be a certain other, it may be characters from the previous game. It is difficult to tell right now who it possibly is. My own theory is I do believe it is some kind of spirit of faith or a spirit of hope or some kind of good benevolent spirit I believe. I do not think it is a past party member. I do not think it is a particular character. I think I do believe that it is just some form of um, character um, that in the new character to the series possibly or even just something that we'll see this. Now I'm also going to speculate that this is possibly at the start of the game not at the end or middle part. I do believe this is probably at the beginning. Uh, that's merely my speculation, however, though, and of course, with the classic. Uh, of course, then fast forward to the scene of the Inquisitor actually standing up in the mirror, of course, we get Dorian, the sexy beast that he is. Um, we will pause here. We actually, uh, this is the first dragon we see in the trailer, and we can see here there is Cassandra, there is Blackwall, possibly Varric, I uh, don't know at the moment, but we do see a dragon coming towards us. They're heading into some possibly elven ruins. And it's difficult to tell, but the architecture and the design of certain aspects of it does scream to me elven. I could be wrong, though. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but we do see a big, fat fucking dragon coming. We actually do see quite a lot of dragons in this trailer. Um, and we get our first full-on glimpse at Cole himself. It's nice to see a post an in-game close-up of Cole, actually, uh, with his hair and his possibly a little bit of armor on there. 
Um, now, the, what what Cole's seeing here is basically it's, it, the way he's wanting things is that he's never seen the Inquisitor before. Um, I don't know where this is probably like the first time you actually meet him, which would be actually rather cool if they actually showed that. Um, but Cole, if you're unaware, is from the Asunder novel, I believe, if memory. The Asunder novel. He was uh, probably a, quite a very important character in that, and that it's very interesting to see him there and the way that he is portrayed in this. Um, he there was some gameplay shown of him as well, um, but I won't be talking too much about that. But it's nice to see an actual close up of Cole. Very interesting. I keep talking, and now we're going to pause right here. Um, I'll move back just a little bit. There we are. Uh, right now we're unaware. Um, and the tr now, as you did mean, um, but it's difficult. This this look, this guy looks like he's being possessed. Um, the features on their the features I know scream a little bit of Elvin, especially the tattoo up there. Um, and the person behind there's some speculation that that is possibly Morgan doing some kind of brainwashing to this guy. Um. That just looks like a possession of some kind. I don't know if it's a full on demonic possession, then this person will turn into an abomination. But I'm very curious to what this could mean. The black eyes, the, the kind of vague undertones and all that. It looks rather interesting and determine like why, why is Morrigan, if it is Morrigan doing this, or a new character who's going to be quite benevolent. And possibly this means this person is going to be a lot stronger than they previously were. It's difficult to see that at the moment and just very interesting. I'm kind of curious about whether there's some kind of mind control magic. Um, we see Colin, of course. Everyone can squee. Uh, the following gag. Um, this part is interesting. Um, I'll actually, f we see two Inquisitors here. We see this Inquisitor pushing our, our Inquisitor up there. I'm actually going to fast forward a little bit. And we see that he is possessed by this being that keeps, keeps announcing itself as the Elder One. Um, this possibly could be the Ill, an elder god, an elder being, or some very, very powerful demon uh, that we are yet unaware of of what their abilities are. We do not know, and it's very interesting. But we have not heard anything about this being the elder one uh, at all in the previous trailer trails. We knew there was going to be a big bad in there. We knew there was going to be a major villain. Sorry, I'm just double checking, make sure my mic's working. Uh, we knew there was going to be a major villain in the game. We just unsure. Some people were speculating there was Morrigan. Some people were speculating that it's Flameth. But it looks like the major villain in this game is going to be the one known as the Elder One. Um, we do not know much about him. My prediction is that he is an old god. I believe that he is probably one of the oldest of old gods. Maybe even the last old god. There, there are not that many old gods left. And I am pretty much certain that he is an Ill, old god of some sort. We also get a nice little look at the uh, armor that the Inquisitor is wearing. Your, your Inquisitor will be wearing with the insignias and the design and the pattern on. This is warrior more than likely. But I'm very curious. And this, of course, make the jokes now. I am the harbinger of your destruction. And it's unclear whether or not this is in the... That, and pretty much this is going to be in the Inquisitor's mind. But to what extent is unclear. And is this a dream sequence? Is this is there actually two Inquisitors going about? We do not know. And I'm very interested to see what this could possibly mean. And we will keep playing, of course. And uh, we do get a look at Blackwall fighting a demon. I believe this is one of the fear demons. We actually do get a few new enemy types in this game we get a look at. Uh, our first of many dragons in this trailer. Uh, this dragon look is a frost dragon, but I'm predicting because of the particular armor that it's wearing and the design of it, and also the fact that you're in a chilly environment, which is rather interesting in my opinion. Um, of course, we, I will go back to there, of course. Uh, we do see some armor variants for the characters. We see uh, Cassandra is wearing a white and black armor this time. Varric has some red gauntlets and some guy in the background who's falling on his arse. Um, I believe this is a female Inquisitor just by the body shape. Difficult to tell. Uh, but I actually like the way it actually looks really cool in my opinion. But I just wanted to comment on that. Um, we see we see um, fuck what's her name? Sarah. That's her name. Uh, but this is interesting to me here. We see a castle lifting off um, this looks like red lyrium, so this could be a red lyrium fueled explosion. And it's difficult to tell what this could be if it's just one of our forts or one of our things. It's really tricky to see, I'm not too sure, but it's very interesting that like, this kind of explosion could happen. Um, we do see you get, see, get kicked in our ass. And of course, we see 
one of our new enemy types, briefly. Uh, now, firstly, I'm going to comment on this. I actually want to move back a little bit. I didn't notice this one. Let me check. No, we'll go back a bit further, actually. Uh, we see the Inquisitors heading towards these guys. I do not know who they are. I believe they may be a Vars. It's difficult to tell. But this one here, I do not know why they're showing this character off. Uh, there is some speculation that this could be Vel Velenia from Dragon Age Awakening. As it says, the engine has changed and there, there could be some character change and all that. I don't know, Vivian, Velenia was a primal ma mage and she does use fire magic in this trailer, but I do not know if this is her. It could just be a brand new character we get to interact with. Uh, she doesn't have any Dalish tattoos, so I'm thinking she's not a Dalish elf, but she does look like an elf with the ears. It's difficult to say elf in this position. Um, but yeah, we see you in quite a enough. And of course, we got to show this little fucker off. One of the new demons, who, uh, uh Ability Drain quoted it, looks, looks like something from Pan's Labyrinth. Um, this is a very unique design, it has, very unique in my opinion, but it does have some vibe with Silent Hill characters in my opinion. We don't know the name yet, I do not know the name, don't kill me or string me up, but yeah, it's kind of terrifying looking, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we get another dragon, this looks like the same Frost Dragon we saw earlier in the trailer. Another dragon, looks like the same one. Uh, a whole bunch of dragons. Of course, we see Solus pushing your hand into the fade. Because he does that, he's a dick. Uh, we see our first glimpse of Morrigan, but I'm going to show you another glimpse of her shortly. This, I'm very interested in. This right here. What the fuck is this? I'm very curious. Now, this doesn't look like angry dragon. This doesn't look like an angry dragon that you're talking to. This looks like a dragon who's trying to communicate with you in some way, shape, or form. Now, I do not know if this is some kind of mental bond or some kind of magic of some sort. But I definitely think that... Dragons are not stupid. A lot of people make that stupid mistake that dragons are not stupid. They are intelligent beings. They are just as smart as humans, depending on your assumption. And dragons in the Dragon Age universe have only been depicted as creatures of destruction in a way. And we never really got to see a lot of dragons. Since there are a lot more dragons in this game, it may, it's possible that there are some dragons who are good, who want to be on your side and actually want to help you fight against the evil creatures and the elder ones. So it is... And Later on in the trailer, it puts a bit more evidence that you will have dragon allies in the future. Now, this is merely me speculating. I don't know if it's true or not, but I just kind of find it weird that they're showing this in this trailer with the enemies of Thedas. With doesn't mean that this is an enemy. It doesn't mean this dragon's an enemy. This means this enemy. This could be an ally against your enemies. I'm very interested to see whether they take this. Uh, we see Colin, of course, in his full glory armoring troops. Uh, this here, I'm going to try and pause it at the part that I pause it at. Uh, not quite yet. Come on, you little bastard. There we go. Uh, we see Morgan shapeshifting into a crow. Well, shapeshifting out of a crow. And we see her coming out of a portal. Minor spoiler from that, the Masked Empire. But the end of Masked Empire, the, um, the Alluvians were reactivated. And this is very much in the way described in the Alluvian portal. Um, now, this looks like this is Morgan coming out of an Olivia, and this may be her returning from where she's been hiding for all these years, and she actually looks younger. This does not look like the older Morgan that's been shown in the trails. This looks like a younger Morgan, and I don't know if this is maybe there's two of her or anything, but she's also wearing her old outfit, not her new one. So it is possible that maybe we'll meet Morgan early on in the game, and then she'll become the Morgan from the trailers. It's difficult to see, in my opinion, but... We do see that she has changed a little bit and she does look like she's on your eye. We've got some water bending there, of course. Um, of course, we see Hawk and a Grey Warden. Right there. That's a Grey Warden. That's female Hawk. They have confirmed that this is not the Warden. This is not your Warden. This is just a Grey Warden. But yes, we see Hawk. Now, this is a Mage Hawk. That my means wasn't a Mage. But... Holy fucking shit, yes! We finally have some confirmation that we will see our previous character alone in the game. As Hawk has been confirmed, it is fucking fantastic. I can't believe it. I'm very glad that they are actually doing this. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this. And I cannot wait to see if maybe we'll actually get to see the Warden as well. Um... This is not our Warden, just to clarify, Mike Lilo has confirmed that the Warden is not in this scene. Um, but it's very interesting to see what, what kind of position and what kind of... What will the Hawk and the Warden's power position be? What will they be in the game? 
and I'm very interested to see that. And um, we do see that this is a mage hawk, and she, if you go a little further in the trailer, you do see that she has Orsino's staff from Dragon Age 2. So, that's uh, strange. And, of course, we've got this, uh, this uh, nice, gorgeous-looking guy right here with uh, many, many eyes or eggs or zits. Um, this is a new, it's an enemy. We do not know much about it. I'm predicting this is a boss battle. Um, but we do not see the warden here, but I'm very interested to see what this demon is, is and what, what what kind of part it will play. Uh, that's pretty much where the trailer ends, except for this little part. This dragon fucking saves our ass. We were about to get eaten by a dragon, and then this dragon swoops in and saves the day. What the fuck? Holy crap. This merely puts more evidence in my opinion that we will have dragon allies, because dragons are not fucking stupid. They are intelligent beings. So I'm very pleased with that. And that's pretty much the entirety of the trailer. It just shows dragons fighting up more. And then it moves on to the whole Dragon Age Inquisition thing here. Um, but yeah, I'm very impressed with this trailer. And I'm going to give you my closing thoughts on it next. And uh, we'll switch back to uh, my closing thoughts. But the trailer was fantastic. Uh, let me know. We'll move over to my closing thoughts. Okay. Closing thoughts on the trailer. I absolutely loved it. It is an absolute fantastic trailer in my opinion. Definitely showing off a lot of the game in my opinion. And also giving us a little bit more taste of what to expect. Will we have dragon allies? Why are there two inquisitors? And also a little bit more about the characters variation in their armors as well. I really like, definitely think that this is probably one of the better trailers that's came out about for this game. And I definitely enjoyed it. Um, let me know what your own theories are about the game as well. I definitely want to hear your theories and everyone else's theories about the game. Because I am very interested to see. What, maybe I missed something. And I definitely want to see a lot more of this game. Especially with the enemies trailer. That definitely showed off a few more enemies that we will go up against. And also possible allies. And we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. And I, I'm very curious to what happen, what, what will happen um with the whole game uh, sorry i'm just uh, making a little tweak to my webcam there um but i gotta give major props to bioware and also major props to aaron flynn who did the presentation he is absolutely fantastic of it he does an excellent job uh, i will be looking at the other stuff that was shown at gamescom including the gameplay and the character creator and um, i will i will have to avoid using clips in that video just in case i would recommend you go check it that i will also leave a link in the description to that uh, but yeah, I will give my thoughts on that as well. But other than that, well done Aaron Flynn and well done Bioware and giving us another nice little taste of Dragon Age Inquisition. You're teasing us all to hell. If you wish to see mine, Ability Drains, uh, Gamer MD83s and Lady Insanity's reaction to the uh, trailer, uh, to the Dragon Age stuff, uh, Lady Insanity will be uploading it to her channel. She did a live stream. Um, I, once it's up, there will be a link in the description, but it will not be up as of uploading this video. It might take a little while for it to edit it. But it will be up on the channel. Of course, Zendikai, uh, Nick Sadler, joined us to watch our reactions. Who works at Bioware. So I apologise in advance. I apologise again for that. Sorry, Nick. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend... I, I will link that in the description once it goes live. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the trailer. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you, what, what are your own theories? Let me know your theories. I absorb them to make them my own. Sorry, I kind of got creepy there. I guess the trailer had an impact on me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. As always, I'm Scottish War Nato, and I'll see you all next time for more Dragon Age. Oh yeah! I, I don't know where I was going with that. Mwah. Hey there, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, regardless of whatever the video topic was about, because I know I'm completely out of text sometimes. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other further content, all you have to do is click on the little Scottish War Nato thing down in the bottom there to take you to the channel and check out the rest of my videos. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, it's just Scottish War Nato everywhere else. And also, if you want to help support the channel, all you have to do is pop in the link in the description to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Scottish War Nato, in which if you feel like my content is worth it, you can donate $1 a month to help continue to support this channel and help me make this into a full time gig. Feel free to go check out the Patreon page to make sure it is to your liking and you actually want to spend a dollar a month on this shitty channel. Thanks for watching. Again, as always, I am Scottish Warren 92 and I hope you'll stick around and may even join the clan by clicking that subscribe button. Thank you. Mwah.